Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the skies. Welcome back to Hermit Sky with our derpy looking 85th tower. It is it is seriously pretty weird looking this island. We got a bit of wood, we got a bit of dirt, we got cobblestone and then we have the brownstone slash concrete made uh, tower of doom. Today the plan is to create a proper mob farm and I am actually super excited about this I should have done this before I started building because a lot of the resources <gasps> we got a patient bag oh my goodness if you guys remember from hermit cave these things will eventually if you open them 5,000 times they will eventually give you a nether star uh, we need to build a machine for that as well at some point let's put it in here yeah, uh, we would be getting so many resources if we could just spend some time in making a proper mob farm. And I'm not just meaning like a, a big box that kills the mobs. We need a storage system for it as well, which is going to be very, very important. Now, whenever I make a store, whenever I make a mob farm, it is like the, the the most important thing is that you make the storage system immediately because otherwise. Things will just, just clog up. So hopefully we have enough resources to make some hoppers or some item conduits. These things here. So that we can transport items properly. Now what we're going to do is first of all we're going to think. <laughs> first of all we're going to think about uh, how to make this mob farm great. Uh, now the very first thing is that mobs will not spawn unless they're 25 blocks away from the player. And because we're in 1.12, Minecraft 1.12. This Minecraft version also has what is called the sub chunk rule and let me see if i can explain this to you guys i think personally it's very very interesting the sub chunk rule uh if i can get the blue line can i get the blue line maybe that's not even in this version of minecraft the sub chunk rule basically divides the chunks in heights so not only do you have the chunk being all the way from bedrock to the top of the world but also it divides it in a 32, I think, 32 by 32 height. So every 32 blocks we go on the Y, we we race in sub chunks. This was removed in 113, if I understood it correctly, and doesn't really matter anymore. But in 112, it makes a huge difference as to how much mobs we can get spawned. You see, the way Minecraft works is that it's going to look uh, in a chunk where it can spawn mobs, and it's going to look at the top opaque block um, and then it's going to try and spawn a mob there now in this scenario for example in this chunk there is slabs and chests and stuff where mobs cannot spawn so it will fail and then it will go downwards um, <clears throat> and at the bottom at as far down as possible it will then uh, try and it, it will have more spawn opportunities i should say uh, and so what this means is that if we build a mob farm all the way down at Y level 1, we will have insane rates uh, because that sub chunk, in, in a chunk that doesn't have anything on top of it, I should say, because that sub chunk will be empty. So that's what we're going to try and do. Huh, I did it. Unbelievable, I did it. Oh, that was so scary. That was so freaking scary. Okay, so now let's build the same platform down here. And like I said, unless they've changed the configs, yeah, that's. That's just not gonna work. Oh, hello, squid. Just fall down on my head, why don't you? But okay, so now we at least have... Well, we don't have a way down, to be honest. <laughs> we, But we do have a pillar, so we can put a ladder there. In modded, you have these different type of ladders, and some of them are actually... Tr can transport you really, really quick. Um, I think, though, that the ones that can transport you quick are like the dark steel ladder. I don't think the stone ladder nor iron ladder transport you quicker maybe the iron ladder actually but i don't know if i want to spend all my resources on that these are also really cool ladders um what about the rope ladder this is a very very cool thing where yeah i kind of want to try this because i've never done it before or i can't remember when i did last let's craft up don't know how many we would need okay so the way the rope ladder is supposed to work is that they drop down oh nice very nice and i think it used actually one block oh that's cool i think it used one ladder per thing i dropped it down so the good thing about modded is that there are a bunch of killing things where <laughs> we can just 
kill mobs very very easily this is my favorite one the mob crusher i don't think we have the infrastructure for this though it requires a little bit of gold this is eight gold pieces in 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 total we need a book which we can actually make using uh not leather but wood which is good the tricky thing is to get plastic though plastic we need to get through the um latex processing unit so we need in order to run this we're going to need some latex um processing units we're also going to need some machine frames which is essentially just tin and iron i think i could possibly do one of these and to be honest, it's probably the best one as well. Um, there is also less technical ones, but that requires conveyor belts and stuff. The good thing with the mob crusher is that it's very, very clean and also very fast. Tree fluid extractor. This thing here. We need three of these or four of these to have a quick process. So... Now remember, we don't have the infrastructure to make everything look pretty at the moment, so please don't get too annoyed with the building style here. For this project in total though, we're gonna need a bunch of iron, which we don't have at the this moment in time. It seems like we have 42 pieces, is that it? Yeah, that's not gonna be anywhere nearly enough, but we can, we can start and see how far we get. So I'm gonna wanna make three of these at least, so three iron gears. Let's put this guy up here. Oh, did it lose all the upgrades when I broke it? Are you kidding me? That's just bad, bad design. Why would, <laughs> why would it do that? Ah. Oh. Okay, so we needed the ore processing upgrade. It enables the processing of ores. Uh, this has changed. I should say I've upgraded the pack. Increases cook speed. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's why they are gone. Doubles output. Yeah, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> this is the recipe for this now. <laughs> so I've updated the pack and the double, the double, the processing upgrade that doubles the war requires four nether stars. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, we live and we learn. We live and we learn. So uh, let's make uh, our last tree fluid extractor. Boop, like a soul. Uh, the way this works is that you put a log in the middle here and these guys will now, as you can see in Wayla on the top of my screen, it will process latex and slowly break this log. And it gets latex in here, latex which we then need to refine into plastic. So we also need something to place down that log there so that we don't have to manually come and put it in. And for that I think we can use a mechanical user, although that would require one of those. So maybe that's not a... Maybe that's not the best one. There is a cheap block placer as well from open blocks. Yeah, this thing. Let's break the log. And then let's put the placer there. And this thing there. Now if I give this logs, nothing happens. So I need a redstone signal, I'm pretty sure. Make a lever. Yes, okay. So what happens when this gets broken? Okay, it places a new thing. A new one. Nice. So by doing this, we can very very simply just have uh this process a lot of logs for us because every log as you can see as well it takes quite a bit of time so it's not a problem to manually refill that for now so now that we're getting latex we need the latex processing units or we need one of these guys and this will process the latex into the dry rubber which we can then make into plastic to be done that's also a quest actually which is another thing I wanted to do today. At least one quest. <laughs> uh, oops, I'm full of cobblestone. Ah, there's the music. How I missed you, music. Mm -mm -mm. Nice. Uh, okay, I saw this in one of these things. Ita? Yes. Oh, I didn't get anything. <laughs> I didn't get anything for that. Are you kidding me? I wanted my RAKs. Ooh, but look at this. We're getting more quests. Uh, in what, in what chain is that? Dera? Yes, okay. This one we get some RAK from. Hopefully we can purchase a chest today, because that's been ages, it feels like. And how much RAK do I have? I have 64 plus 11 at this moment in time. I need 80, so that's 75, right? Yes, 75. Let's use one of these survival generators, and let's just start burning wood for now, I guess. It's actually, would probably be better if I use this machine to burn oak and get some charcoal. But before we, or whilst that is uh, 
is uh, doing its thing. We need some kind of fluid pipe. I think I may want to go with my uh, very, very, <laughs> very, my, my, my old time friends, the fluid ducts. So what we want to do is simply pipe all of the latex from these guys into this guy. So what I'm going to do is put one there, one there, one there. We're going to disconnect that, disconnect that, disconnect that. You don't have to do that, but it just makes it look better. And then ignore these, and that should pump the latex into this thing. Yes. Very, very good. Okay. So this fills up, and then it also needs water. I completely forgot about that. Place the sink down here with a pipe. And uh, there they are. Underneath here. And then a servo on that with ignored. We can cover this up. And I don't have any more cobblestone. Nice. <laughs> Cover that up. And now we should be getting tiny dry rubber. Sweet. That is absolutely awesome. Okay, so nine of these makes one dry rubber. One dry rubber is one plastic. Now we could, of course, automate, automate the next process of crafting these together. Um, I think a lot of you guys have been telling me to use these compactor uh, things because they don't take power when crafting things. But I think I can just use a compacting drawer. That's two redstone pieces, and that gives us the compacting drawer. Now, the reason I'm one redstone short is because I need to get this out of here into the compacting drawer. Oh, wow, that's another quest? Hey, buddy! So we can claim that, and then this is probably a very early quest. Yeah, here. Nice. Oh, this is exciting. We're going to get a legendary bag today, dudes. We're going to get a legendary bag. Uh, yeah, we need to get the, it out of here into the compacting drawer. Okay, can I do this? So put the hopper ah, facing that way. Oh my goodness, it's so... What can, why can't I get up? Come on, you stupid game. There we go. <laughs> that was scary. Okay, so that hopper is now facing this block. Very nice. Okay, you see what I'm go where I'm going with this? And then we can put this thing over top instead. Doesn't look as clean, but whatever. Doesn't really matter. And now we can put the compacting drawer here unfortunately they can't face forward so yeah we're gonna need to to have it like that but that should oh, i should have tried that first shouldn't i that doesn't compact it <laughs> all of that for nothing uh, uh, plastic nice yes we got it all right, well, I did run out of redstone, so I did have to sift through some more stuff to get everything crafted, but I did craft the mob crusher, and I think I've got the rest of the stuff prepared here as well. We need one more servo. This in my inventory right now should mean that we can put up a basic mob farm at least. That's going to be pretty efficient. Not basic basic. It's, yeah, next level, next level mob farm at least. I do need some torches though because... Unfortunately, it's just Blood Moon, <laughs> and I don't want to be building a platform over the void when it's dark. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and put it down here on the eighth block, we can't fully center it, of course. And then we put this thing in here and check the bounding box. How much do we cover? We're still within that chunk with one block missing and two blocks missing there. Okay, that's that's actually really good. We're going to be covering most of the chunk. I think that's. Good enough. So now what we're going to do is put down the spawning the spawning uh, room here and turning off the chunk borders. Now we only see the area that it covers. And we want to cover this entire thing so that mobs can spawn inside this area. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. These guys just spawn instantly. Okay, we have a slime chunk here as well. That's good, I guess, and bad. Because it's going to make it building this thing a lot harder. Whew. Because <laughs> big slimes are scary. They spawn so quick. Look at this. So here's what Blood Moon does. It spawns mobs even if I'm 25 blocks away. So it can spawn block mobs immediately. And uh, this is actually quite interesting how quickly the mobs spawn down here. Once I put down the blocks so that Minecraft found a block for them. Unfortunately, yeah, like I said, I may have to wait until the Blood Moon is over. <laughs> Whoo! We're gonna get Escalium though, which is great. Yeah, we, we're gonna... Uh, 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 <laughs> I, got, I got killed by a slime. I can't believe it. Oh, <laughs> this is crazy. This is incredibly crazy. Oh, 
So I think the mo the farm will actually be producing some slime as well. Obviously, when we don't have this lit up, this mob spawning cap here will be taken up by by real mobs and not slime mobs. But I mean, a slime farm wouldn't be terrible. I have a fantastic idea. I have a fantastic idea. Look at all this stuff, by the way. An artifact bag, two legend. Let's open this thing. What is this thing? I think these are really rare. Lorm Ipsum and Lost Tablet. So it's just from that weird mod that I don't like. But okay. Yeah, I have a I have a really cool idea. I think we can make slime boots now. Which means that we don't have fall damage anymore. Oh my goodness though. The speed of these guys. Are you kidding me, game? I can't keep up. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think I gotta do these type of slime blocks. And then... Uh, that's a big one. Yes. Slime boots. Okay. Sweet. These are amazing, by the way, because now no fall damage. I can and I can bounce. Okay, I had to get some more blocks, but let me try to. Oh no! Okay, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I was gonna say, let's try and see if the if the fall damage thing is still a thing, and it is definitely. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry for that scream. <laughs> Okay, anyway, we got that all done. I'm gonna make it three tall and then now we're gonna add slabs on top And I think I think at least that the slabs are important for the rates here because Yeah, like I said, it's not a full block. It also prevents mob spawning uh, For us on the next like when we go upwards here, which is gonna be good So I'm just gonna add a slab right here and that will allow us to Yeah, see what's going on inside there. Just like a little info window. We can turn off the chunk boundaries we know we have everything correct but yeah we need to access a few sides of this thing because we need to provide it with power and we need to extract items from it so extracting items from it is going to be mm, i think the best way to do this with the resources that i have is blocking these three blocks up and that's going to remove three potential spawning spaces we need to go back up, we need to get some wood, we need to make a chest, and we're just gonna make a super simple storage. There's not enough time in this video to make uh, storage, it's probably gonna be something I've spent a few episodes on. And just like in vanilla, to get the rates up, we need to make sure that all the caves around are lit up, and that includes, <laughs> because there are no caves in the sky, but that includes voiding my old mob farm here, so that we don't get spawns in here. So as far as power goes, we can't use just one survivalist generator because it's simply not going to be enough. It's 5 RF per tick and I'm pretty sure our mob farm is at least 40 RF per tick if not even 80 RF per tick. Uh, what we could do though is a furnace generator. This thing burns coal just like the survivalist generator. It's not as efficient with the coal. It's uh, not, not, even, not even close. But it has a higher output, so I think that's a good thing to start with. And then we'll just have to live with the fact that our mob farm will not be killing mobs unless we power this with fuel. Oh my goodness! No! No, 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 this is gonna blow. It's gonna blow. Stupid skeletons, do this quickly. Power this thing. Start killing. Okay, it requires 40 hours per tick, and this produces 40 hours per tick, so that actually works. Did you guys see the insane amount of mobs in there? That was incredible! <laughs> that was insane! I honestly do not think that I've seen that many skeletons before. This won't work though, because... Yeah, the skeletons could see us. Look at all this stuff. Are you freaking kidding me? There is so much loot here. And this is, of course, they're gonna continue to spawn when we are not here. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do is let's just make a super simple storage system where we put... Oh, right, this is one twelve. We can't put chests next to each other. Uh, we're just gonna put chests like this, I guess. Uh, and then maybe on top here. And by default, with the, with the servos that we have, this should put stuff into the nearest first. So if I put this servo on here... And do that this should go nearest first so it should go there there next chest next chest and then on the very end here i'm gonna put a trash can so that we never um crash the world that being said though with that amount of speed to kill the mobs this servo is gonna be way too bad so i'm definitely gonna need to upgrade that immediately I wish I could see the mobs though. Dark glass is a thing in modded, which is amazing. It takes thickened glass and black. Oh, we can actually make two of those. 
Because I did get one ink sack. I think I saved it. But okay, so now when we come back down here, this should kill... Oh, I crashed the world. No! Stupid extra utility bug. One thing that is very frustrating with <laughs> this pack is that it takes forever to load. And I mean absolutely forever. So whenever you crash because of this stupid bug where you shift click something into a extra utility block, uh, it's just... It's just six minutes waiting time and my recording gets corrupted. So I have to after process it and stuff Very very frustrating, but that being said if we now exit this area, this is the loot we have right now Maybe you know what? Let's just let's just empty this so that we can see exactly this should produce a Crap ton of stuff. The only problem like I said is that the oh what's happened here? I got stuck uh, okay, that's weird. The only prob problem is that the servo is not going to be quick enough to handle it, which will create a lot of entities on the floor, which, yeah, could be bad. It could ruin the world. I'm hoping that I can make some Electrum, uh, which is silver and gold, and then go back down there before it's too late. So in order to make Electrum, I need both silver and gold, which I said, and I think I have both of it, but I need to grind it down to Pulver, form so that I can combine it because I don't have the machines to do this so I'm trying to work as quickly as I can but we're gonna create a grindstone from applied logistics and that's smooth stone put that in here and now start grinding this manually and as I'm doing this mobs are spawning in and being killed and more entities are building up on the floor in form of item shape so really really trying to rush this crush this down yeah 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 my frames are definitely getting worse we're stacking up on items down there <laughs> Careful now. Too dark glass. This glass uh, doesn't let through light. It's really, really cool. Really cool. All right. So the moment we go down here, the mob farm obviously stops because we're close to the close to the thing. But let's do let's do this. Let's put actually let's do it on this side here. It makes more sense. Let's put this glass here and this glass here. And as you can see, it doesn't let through the light. And now, yeah, there is a lot of items in there. I don't know if you can see that on YouTube because it darkens things. But here's the yield. So that chest is almost completely filled up in that, like, 30-second time I was away. That's that's insane. <laughs> that's incredible. Uh, and a lot of items are not being sent quick enough. As you can see, they're still, yeah, items are still filling up, basically. So what we're going to do is put the Electrum thing. Oh, no, did they change this? Oh, no. Or maybe I need to remove it first and then combine these two. Please don't change this. Yes. Okay. That's how you can upgrade the servos very cheaply. And this should be a lot quicker to deal with this. But like I said, I don't think it's going to be quick enough. It sends 32 per stack and nearest first. So it's definitely going to go to the chests. Ah, oh, this is incredible. We did get a bunch of ender chests in that small amount of time though. Uh, or sorry, ender pearls, which is good news because then I can make... Uh, more elevators and hopefully get a proper way down here so I don't have to use the stupid ladder, which is super slow. And here we go! We got an elevator! Sweet! <coughs> that is awesome. Okay, how's this thing doing? Oh my goodness! It is so, it is so fast! It's already filled up! <laughs> it's already filled up! <laughs> of course, the loot bags are going to take up a lot of the spaces here, but... Yeah, uh, as long as we have some spots for like ender pearls and stuff that we want to keep this This storage system will suffice as long as it's quick enough, I guess So ender pearls is something I definitely want to keep And yeah, we, we, we desperately need a storage system to deal with all of this stuff <laughs> As fast as freaking possible. We got some redstone as well in there uh, Now what we're gonna do the last thing is we're gonna shut it off and I just want to have a look into these windows and see just how quick this mob farm is. So if I just stand up here for a moment and then I go back down, we should have a lot of mobs in here. Yes, that is, that is insane. That is absolutely insane. And they're all died. <laughs> Very satisfying. <laughs> It's definitely worth it <coughs> to do it down so so far down. It's a little bit fiddly, but I'm very happy we did. Anyway, this video is probably way too long at this moment in time, and I do apologize for that. I have been recording 
for over two hours at this point. So hopefully I do a good job at editing. But before I leave today, I do want to do this one big thing. And that is to buy a legendary box. So here we go. Rewards Epic Legendary. 80 racks. Detect. Claim. Sweet. Can I just... No, I can't. I can't. I can't cheat claim that. Okay. There we go. A legendary loot chest. Please be good. Oh. That's pretty good. We can't turn it into nether stars though. But yeah, this is an expensive craft. A very expensive craft. I think we use it to grow nether stars. <laughs> That's pretty good. Of course, we need the we need the nether star seeds, which requires a bunch of other stuff. But this thing is yeah, that's a really good reward. I'm happy about that. But anyway, dudes, that's going to do it for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed some more Hermit Sky. I'm going to try and do more of these episodes um, in the future. I'm sorry that there's been a little bit of uh, slow episode production. It's because of my illness that I had for the longest time, like two weeks man flu and stuff like that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. And I'll see you dudes in the next episode.